Hello and welcome. In this presentation, we will be looking at deriving the equation of a straight line when we are presented with a graph. Now, just as a recap, the equation of a straight line is defined by this equation, y equals mx plus b. Now, m is the value of the gradient, or if you prefer, the slope of the line. And b is the value of the y-intercept. In other words, where the line passes through the y-axis. This is a standard approach that I use to derive the equation of a straight line. You'll see here my Cartesian plane. I have a y-intercept of negative 4. In other words, the y, the line passes through the y-axis at the value negative 4. Now, what I need to do is I determine the value of the y-intercept. Well, I think I've just done that. Then I calculate the gradient. In other words, I look at rise over run. And then I substitute the gradient and the y-intercept into this particular formula. So let's just go to the next page. So, looking here, now, I can say that where does this line go through the y-axis? It's the value of negative 3. That is my y-intercept. And the next thing I do is I follow the line along until it goes through the corner of another square. Well, it happens to be this is the next corner. So I'll look at the gradient. So what I need to do is count the squares. So I go up 1, 2, 3. 3 and I go across one square. So I can say that my gradient m equals 3 over 1, which can be simplified to just 3. So the equation of my line is y equals 3x. This 3 comes from the m value there. Minus 3 comes from the value of the b. Okay, let's look at another example. Again, I go through the same approach. I ask myself, where does this line go through the y-axis? Well, right there. So I can say the value of b equals 1. The next question I say is, from this point here, just follow the line along until I go through the corner of another square. Well, here's the first corner of the square that I go through. So I ask myself, how many squares do I go up? Well, I go up one. And how many across? One. So my gradient will be one over one, which obviously can be simplified to be the value one. And I don't really need to write one x. That can just be simplified to be y equals x. x for this value of gradient and the one here from the y-intercept. Let's look at the next one. The same approach. Where does this line go through the y-axis? Well, that value there is 3. And follow the line along. Where does it go through the next corner of a square? No, that's not a corner. That's not a corner. No. Uh, here's the next corner of a square. So if I compare this with this, I can say that I go up 1, 2, and I go across 1, 2, 3. So I can say, there you go, my gradient is up to A cross 3. That's my value of M. So putting both this and this into my equation, I'll end up with Y equals 2 thirds X plus 3. 
Yeah, we're getting close to the end of our examples. I think there's just another two. Now, looking at this line, what you'll notice the difference between this line and the previous line, this line, notice how it's going upwards. This line is going downwards. Whenever you see a line that's going downwards, we will think of a negative gradient. But we'll get to that in a second. So, where do I go through the y-axis? Well, the value is negative 3. Then, looking for the next corner of a square, well, you'll see here now I can say I'm starting to go downwards. So I've gone down 1 and across 1, 2, 3, 4. So, my gradient will be negative one quarter. Now the negative sign indicates my line is going downwards. It has a negative gradient. And I can say that I've gone down one square or one unit across four units. I put those two values into my equation. So y equals negative one quarter x minus three. Ah, next one. Now, where does this line go through the y-axis? Well, the value is 0. So, I could say my value of b equals 0. Now, the next thing. Let's follow this line. Well, we can say, we, we, we go through this point here. Where is the next corner of a square that it goes through? I could say the next corner would be here this one here. So to go from here to here I can say that I've gone down one, two, three and across one, two, three, four, five. I could say my gradient is negative three over five. Now these lines because they're straight they are symmetrical and if you prefer you could work up this way and say that work with this point here and that point there and we will get the same result you'll notice down three across five so whichever side of the y-axis you want to work on you just select that and putting those two values into the equation I'll end up with y equals well negative three-fifths x plus zero, so I don't really need to worry about writing plus zero. That is my answer. And the final example. Well, looking at this one, this line has a y-intercept of three. So straight up, I can say that my value of b equals three. Now, what about the gradient? If you follow this line along, does it actually go up at all? It doesn't go up any square. So I can say the gradient is the rise over the run. And since my line does not go up, 0 divided by any number will be 0. So my gradient is 0. So the value of m equals 0. So the equation of the line would be y equals 0x. Well, I don't need to write 0x because we know that would be 0 plus 3. Just to summarize, let's just go back to the original steps. Determine the y-intercept. Well, look at the graph, look to see where is the y-intercept. Calculate the gradient, gradient by just finding another point right, that the line goes through, which is on the corner of one of these squares, and give that a value as a fraction and then substitute both the y-intercept and the gradient into your equation y equals mx plus b. I hope this presentation has assisted you in determining, determining the equation of a line when looking at a graph. So until next time, good maths and bye for now.